In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of holism and what it is and how we can apply it to 2021. So if you're not familiar with my channel, my name is Jen Palco. I help people reinvent their reality. I'm also the author of the new book, 12 Step Guide for the Self-Help Book Addict. Uh, I'm also a licensed acupuncturist. So I'm familiar with the holistic realm, right? Treating the whole person rather than the parts. But how can you apply the concept of something like holism, which I'll explain what it is in a second, to the new year? where we can move forward as a society. So holism, it's pretty much what it sounds like, that the whole is greater than the sum of all its individual parts. So, you know, take for example, the yin yang symbol, right? So if you just have like the white without the black, it's, it's not as strong, right? It's like, if you cut this in half, it wouldn't be the yin yang symbol. You have to have both, right? To complete the, complete the whole thing. So this can apply to our lives. You know, right now, 2020 has been a weird year for everybody. So it's, uh, it's about shifting ourselves into this idea that we need to start focusing on the larger picture at whole rather than just the individual pieces. What we've noticed the past year, not only is there a lot of division with political parties and stuff like that, but everybody is coming from a place of ego and the ego is more left brained activity. And it's basically saying, I am different from you. You are different from me. We are separate from, from everything. And it puts us in this kind of selfish mode where we're only thinking about ourselves and the immediate moment, what we can see in front of us right now. So if we move into the right brain activity, we start to see that, you know, we have less of this linear ego sense of uh, illusionary sense of self, because essentially the self is, it's an illusion created by our brain because we're not actually separate from everything around us, but we've created this idea that we are separate. It's our own belief systems that do that. So if we move to a place where we look not at the individual pieces from an ego sense of self, but from a larger whole. So it's about rising up above a situation and looking down. It's kind of like called the bird's eye view, right? It's about looking at the big picture, looking at the big picture. Think of creating a vision board, right? You create a vision board. What do you do? You think about all the different things you want in your life, but usually there's this overarching theme that goes along with it. So, you know, if we want to move to a better sense of humanity, then we need to start shifting how we're viewing not only ourselves, but everything around us. We need to stop just looking at what's directly in front of us and think of how every individual action is going to affect the whole. Now, a lot of people aren't doing this right now, and it's why there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of rage, there's a lot of hateful outbursts and violence towards, towards other people. Uh, it's the judgment, it's the racism, it's the prejudice, it's this false identification of self created by the ego, created in our left side of our brain. So if you took that part out of our, our brain and you were just left with the right side, you would see that you are not separate from the guy next door. It's only that you, your brain has created through these patterns and these belief systems. See, the brain is always trying to look for patterns. It's always searching for patterns. It's so good at pattern identification. And it's always gonna try to make sense of things. It's always gonna try to rationalize things. So it creates this sense that uh, where it, it becomes this survival mechanism where we want to protect ourselves from embarrassment, from shame, from guilt or things like that. And it creates again, this, this polarity between us and them. So holism is really about doing your part and shifting your perspective on the world at hand. Again, not just looking at what's directly in front of you. Think about a pie. Is it better to have the whole pie or just one little slice? Well, to me, since I have a sweet tooth, it's better to have the whole freaking pie, right? So you have to think of it that way. How are your actions affecting 
other people around you? How are your actions impacting the planet as a whole, humanity as a whole? Are you doing things that are going to lift up humanity as a whole? Or are you doing things that are going to keep, keep it dragged down into this you know, illusionary sense of self? So it's a question that every one of us should be asking ourselves and realizing we're human, we're not perfect, but we can strive to be willing to shift our perspective on a situation. We can be willing to rise above certain small things that annoy us or aggravate us or, uh, you know, somebody does something and it, it pisses us off about them. What is in it? for you in judging somebody else? What is in it for you to not take care of the planet? What is in it for you to keep living in a way that is essentially dragging humanity down, living in these low vibrational states of anger and hatred? Now, you may say uh, it's just how it is, but you have to ask yourself, why are you living in these states? Where is it benefiting you in your life? And why are you unwilling to shift that? Maybe you feel like you can't shift that. In a lot of cases, that's what it is. A lot of people grow up uh, either repressed emotions that come out later in life or uh, people feel like they need to get even with somebody else. Well, ask yourself, what is that, what is that doing for you? By getting even with somebody else, what is, it, what is it doing? It's stroking your ego, that left side of your brain that's creating these false beliefs within you because again it's taking patterns from your past and it's constructing this this story essentially it's stories all about stories but the stories are not necessarily truth <laughs> they're truth to you because it's all you know so when you start thinking from a bigger picture from a heightened state of consciousness you start to see things in the world around you flow easier things become lighter. You know, ancient, um, you know, Buddhists and ancient me Chinese medicine, they had it right. They had it right in not focusing on each individual thing that annoys you. It's like holistic medicine versus Western medicine. If you're just going a symptom based approach, usually it's just temporary relief. But if you're digging deeper and getting to the whole of a person, which do you think is going to have a better outcome? So it's not a fight between Western and Eastern medicine. They both have their, their say. But just think about it for a minute. In 2021, instead of making resolutions that you want to lose 5 pounds, 10 pounds, that's fine, give up chocolate. Why don't you make the resolution that you're going to allow yourself to shift your thinking a little bit? You're going to allow yourself to let in more of this holistic approach and holism in your day-to-day -day living. And if you do this on a consistent basis, it's going to not only change you, but it's going to change the people and the things and the situations around you. Because essentially our reality is a reflection of how we are feeling internally, our thoughts and our beliefs. So when you change that and you shift your perspective, then your outside reality gets better. It's true. You filter your reality. It's your brain. So this is just the gist of what I wanted to talk about today. I think it's so important for the new year, for 2021, that we start moving ourselves in a different direction. And it starts with one person. It starts with you. It starts with me. It starts with doing our part to not only take care of ourselves and take care of the planet, but doing our part to take care of our brains and our mental health and shifting to a place where we're coming on a lighter, lighter scale. Because we realize that things that we've been doing and doing and doing and doing keep repeating themselves, right? It's those patterns. Our brain loves patterns. And we love repeating history and repeating patterns. So if we can shift ourselves out of that a little bit and start moving the needle in the other direction, then it's going to be huge. It's going to overhaul your life. It's going to overhaul the whole planet. So. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up or subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. My new book is coming out, 12 Step Guide for the Self-Help Book Addict. I'm going to put a link to that below if you want to check it out. And I will see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace.